In the year 2020 and 2021, the Christian community lost two powerful women who over the years have stood beside their powerful husbands, who are pastors and general overseers. The deaths of these women came as a shock to the Christian community in Nigeria, Africa and the world at large because prior to their death, no formal information was available with regards to their illness. Pastor Ibituni Utua Igodalo died in June 2020 as a result of a heart attack, while Pastor Nomsi Odukoya died in November 2021 as a result of cancer. Today on Ewao Stories, we're going to discuss these women, what they had in common, their careers outside the church, and the lives that were impacted by them. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment as we proceed. Finally out, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> hey, see, no messing <laughs> Pastor Rosemary Nomti was a citizen of South Africa who got married to Pastor Taiwo Dukoya, the general overseer of Fountain of Life Church, at the age of 36 in the year 2010. Pastor Tayo had been married before to Pastor Bimbo Dukoya, but she died in an air crash in 2005, leaving her husband with three children. Pastor Ibijuni Godalo, on the other hand, was also a second wife to Pastor Itua Godalo. He was initially married to Lucy Ann Suna in the early 20s, while he was still a pastor at the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Christ Church Parish, Bagada, Lagos, and he had no children. The marriage was a bit controversial, and he later divorced her and got married to Ibijuni in the year 2007. The church didn't like the idea of divorce and he was sacked. So Pastor Itua went ahead to start a church called Trinity House. Coming in as second wives, pastor's wives, these women took up the challenge to fit into the new shoe. Pastor Nomti began a great work at the Fountain of Life Church. Although not replacing Pastor Bimbo Dukoya, but creating her own area of service. She preached from time to time on the pulpit and never hesitated to do too much. Pastor Ibituni Godalo also did not hesitate to stand by her husband. Despite her business outside the church, she was always found in the church. Ibiduni Igodalo revealed the idea of our foundation, Ibiduni Igodalo Foundation, which was born out of our struggle with infertility. Ibiduni Igodalo, in an interview in 2018, disclosed that she underwent IVF seven times due to pressure from family and friends to bear children. Pastor Itua and Ibiduni were married for 13 years and they later adopted a daughter and a son after many trials. Pastor Nomti Odukoya was married to Pastor Taiwo Odukoya for 11 years and they had two boys together. Pastor Ibiduni Igodalo founded Elizabeth R, a PR event management company in 2003. Her company takes credit for numerous decorations in Lagos, Abuja, Portacot, and other states. Every Christmas in Lagos, she was responsible for the street decorations and her brand never flopped any of their projects. She offered her services to GLOW, GT Bank, Sahara Groups, and the Lagos State Government, and even many more. And in 2016, she launched a bridal store called Avant Grade. Pastor Nomsi Odukoya, on the other hand, was the founder of Yazi Wednesday and founded Awazi Foundation. 
an NGO dedicated to producing books and resources for children. At the Yazi Wende, she dedicated her time to writing books suitable for children and her books were used by Christians and non-Christians. Despite their roles as pastors' wives, these women never hesitated to impact lives. They were employers of labor who saw a gap in the society and decided to fill in. Pastor Nomti's books touched the lives of so many children across the world and her foundation helped the less privileged too. Pastor Ibiduni Foundation brought joy to many homes with the alternate procedure of bearing children. I then centered the bridal store offered services to thousands of people, and up until her death, her event center was in charge of setting up COVID-19 isolation centers in the year 2020. Death came with a sting in the year 2020 and took the world by surprise. Pastor Ibiduni Godalo was reported dead by her husband, who said he received a call by 2 a.m. that she had passed on. Nigerians Africans reacted to this sad news on social media. It was gathered that she died from a cardiac arrest in a hotel room while in Port Harcourt for projects with regards to the COVID-19 isolation centers set up. Pastor Nomti had struggled with cancer for two years before passing on in November 2021. Her family did well to keep the news of her illness away from the general public until her death was announced via Pastor Taiwo's social media pages and the church official social media page. It felt like Ibiduni's death all over again when Pastor Nomti's death was announced. More than a year later, the Christian community was mourning a pastor's wife, a philanthropist and a woman of God again. couldn't understand why these pastors had to go through such hearts of mourning their wives, especially Pastor Taiwo, who had buried two wives already. But then, the Word of God has encouraged us that the will of God for us is of good and not of evil. Thereby, we should not go about asking questions. Rather, we should thank God for the good life these women spent while on earth. We have exclusive videos in our video sections with regards to Ibiduni Godalo and Pastor Nomti. Do well to check them out. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, also turn on the post notification bell so that anytime we drop any new video, you will get notified first. Until next time people, bye bye